Hi there, this is Lance from Buy New Core, and with Pokemon X and Y just around the corner, I thought I'd give you a top 10 list of things that you should look forward to in Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. So first of all, at number 10 is the 3D graphics and movement. Um, obviously with the 3DS's hardware um, being a lot better than the old DS's, the game has finally been upgraded into a fully 3D world. <coughs> and this affects a lot of the things like the uh, models of the Pokemon, the models of the players, the map itself, um, even the movement. You're no longer bound to the just up, down, left, right directions. You can now move diagonally, which is pretty cool. And in battle screens and even on the overworld, some of the Pokemon look amazing. Um, so at number nine, it's something I'm quite excited about for no real reason whatsoever, is being able to sit on a fucking bench. You can just go up to a random bench and sit there and do just chill out which is pretty cool so number eight um customizable characters now i know this is something that a lot of pokemon fans have wanted for a very long time but now you can finally go out and change your hat clothes beard i think you can have a beard hairstyle even skin color um and be make your own avatar in the world of pokemon which i know is something i've think is really cool and I know a lot of Pokemon fans have wanted it for a very 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 long time so number seven one of the more interesting things that they've added is well it's two things really it's the in the in-game mini games so the first one is super training which is a new um, simpler way of EV tr training your favorite Pokemon and instead of going out and battling a certain type a hundred times to boost a certain stat you can play different mini games um, to boost a certain stat, like shooting balloons. I think there's, I think that's one of them. I know there's a couple of others, but these all are quicker and more fun ways of EV training your Pokemon to fit the set that you want. So you can have a super fast Pokemon who hits hard, or really defensive uh, Pokemon who's quite slow. Um, the other one of uh, mini game is Pokemon and Me, which is basically Nintendo's for Pokemon. Um, you feed them, you pet them, they're kind of like Tamagotchis I think. I don't think they moan if you don't feed them though. Um, but playing with them for a long time raises their affection um, stat which is used to evolve Eevee into Sylveon um, but it also gives stat boosting, uh, stat boosts which I don't know if they're temporary or not but it increases things like critical hit chance or dodge chance. Um, number six is the two new types of battle that have been introduced in this generation. Uh, the first of these is Horde Battles, where one of your Pokemon will face, up against, face off against five other wild ones. Um, and apparently f uh, finishing these battles gives you a bigger amount of XP, which is always great. And the second type is Sky Battles, where only flying Pokemon can participate in. So if you've got a Talonflame or a Pidgey or whatever bird Pokemon they decide to put in this generation, um, you can fight against only other bird Pokemon. And even graphically, these are shown to be up in the air rather than on the ground like the normal ones. So number five is the online changes that they've made to the game. Now, um, they've come quite far with this in Black and, uh, black and White 2 with the... Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but the thing on the bottom screen. Um, now in the new game they have something called a player search system which uses your 3DS's wireless capabilities to look for nearby players that you can interact with by battling, trading, so on um, or you can connect to the internet and it will give you ones that are similarly quite close so you no longer need to swap friend codes to battle with someone or trade with them um, they've also changed the GTS which is useful for trading um, the global train system before you could only search for Pokemon that you've seen and ha have in your Pokedex. So if you're looking for, for an example, an Arceus, but you'd never actually battled one, you would never be able to search one on the GTS. But now you can look for Pokemon that you haven't seen, which is really useful for people trying to make living dexes, or even just fill up the Pokedex to get the certificate. Um, number four, speaking of Pokemon, well, obviously Pokemon, but there's a lot of new Pokemon in this game. Um, apparently there's around 70 ones that they've added. Um, and it's always good to see new new Pokemon um, with different evolutions and different abilities that you can use and can really change up the battling and meta game, Which ties in with number three, which is the new type. So 
in pro in generation six they've announced a fairy type which is i think mascoted by the new evolution sylveon um which basically gives a massive weakness and a bit of a fuck you to dragon types um because they only they don't really have many weaknesses at all um so fairy types are super effective against fighting dragon and dark and resist fighting bug and dark which so that gives dark a couple more weaknesses but mostly it's about dragon um the weaknesses that the fairy type has are poison and steel and i don't really know that many types that steel is strong against so it's good that steel's got some um, um, and it's also, fairy is also resisted by fire, poison, and steel, so they're not very effective against those. <coughs> uh, number two is something that is not that big of a change, but it's something that I'm quite excited about, and I, from what I've read online, a lot of people are. And it's basically they've changed the way that the the XP share item works. Uh, it isn't a hold item anymore. It's an item. I think it's like a key item that you just have. And owning it shares out half of the battle XP to all of the Pokemon not used in the battle, rather than just one or whoever you've got it holding it. Which will make it a lot easier when it comes to training entire teams of Pokemon up to a certain level, if you want to tr like trade a battling team or train a team for a specific event. So the last one, uh, at number one, is probably the biggest thing to come out of Gen 6, other than the graphic changes. Um, but it's the one I'm most excited about, and that's Mega Evolutions. Now, um, for those of you who aren't aware, Mega Evolutions are a new form of evolution for specific Pokemon that you can use in battle if they are holding a certain item, which is called a Megastone. So it replaces the hold item that you might normally give an item a Pokemon when battling them. But when you choose to activate it, and it's not activated straight away, you have to choose to do it. Um, the Pokemon will evolve in the middle of battle, and it can it will change its appearance, which is always good. But sometimes it will have a type change, uh, its abilities will change, and its stats will go up or down depending on what Pokemon it is and what changes have been made to it. So the biggest example of this is Charizard. Now Charizard has two Mega Evolutions, depending on which Mega Stone you have. And there's Charizard I X and Charizard I Y. And each one is version exclusive. Now Char Charizard Ite Y doesn't have a type change. He just has a ability, appearance and stat change. But he does look really cool. Charizard Ite X on the other hand f um, becomes fire and dragon as opposed to fire and flying. And his appearance becomes black and blue as opposed to the orange and yellowy colour that he was before. Uh, I'm not sure what ability and stats Charizard Ite X has. I imagine they will be quite different, but it's interesting that his basically his entire type changes. And Mewtwo also has been given a Mega Evolution that has the same thing in, I think it's Mewtwo, Mewtwo Ite X is the Mega Stone, and he becomes Psychic and Fighting, um, rather than, I think Mewtwo Y is just Psychic, but he has a massive stat change, and I think his physical attack gets a lot higher as opposed to his special attack. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, it's Pokemon Week on Binary Core, so please go out and check um, out all our other videos for this week, because we're really excited about Pokemon coming out, um, but it's just around the corner, so we're all really excited about it. So please check out our other videos, um, subscribe, like, comment below. Thanks a lot.